It is his rust. Yeah, what a nice day. 70 degrees out here right now. This is my perfect riding time. I should say my perfect riding weather. <laughs> Time's not too bad either. What time is it right now? 9.46 a.m. Yeah, 70 degrees, 9.46 a.m. It's gonna get warmer later today. So what am I on? Let me give you a hint here. Let's make this turn first before we do anything. Oh yeah, a lot of construction down here. I keep forgetting in this general area they're still doing a lot of construction. All right, this, I think this car is waiting for me. So I am going to pass it. All right, let me give you a hint. Let me, let me show you some color here. See that color? What is that? <laughs> neon green. Yeah, I named this bike Neon Green. Yeah, this is the Magic Cycle Deer. Now we've waited a long time to be on the deer. Yeah, I've had... Uh, let's see, just make sure this car doesn't run into me. I've had to deal with other bikes and have not had a chance to take the deer out until now. <laughs> Hard to say that, you know, you're too tied up to do stuff because I know you got all day long, you got things to do, but you know, you don't go out constantly on a bike. You do what you can, then you, uh, you go home, and then you take it easy for the rest of the day, right? But today is the day of the deer. All right, so I think this truck is gonna try to take a right turn, but we're gonna stay behind it. Make sure he knows that we're not going to uh, not going to infringe on his area. He's dripping stuff out of that truck. <laughs> it's probably dirt, wet, muddy dirt. So yeah, the deer. <laughs> Let me bounce around a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, this is a full suspension bike, as you know. And uh, I, uh, I haven't been on this bike since I did the review of the bike almost a month, a little over a month ago, really. Yeah. yeah, I've been trying to give some time to other bikes to get those batteries up and running. And, you know, we have uh, multiple batteries on many of the bikes and I wanted to get them all up and running for the, for the season. Here we are already in June. <laughs> it's hard to believe. But the season's been kind of weird. Um, you know, we had cold and wet and all sorts of stuff. It's not the same as last year. So, um, where are we going today? Well, I'm heading towards the post office. We've done this many times in the past. And I like taking uh, a nice, powerful bike to the post office because we got to compete with the cars. We got to go on the uh, on the street, and so I usually want a decent, powered bike to go. Yeah, the deer hasn't actually gotten that much mileage on it because uh, what is the mileage on this bike? Let me let me take a look at the information here kind of going through them all here. <laughs> the deer has only gotten 37 miles on it. Can you believe that? 37 miles, that's all I've, I've ever been on this bike. You know, when I first, when I first got the bike, uh, sorry, I'm still, uh, I'm still kind of going through this. I'm trying to get to the trip meter so I have a better idea, okay. So when I first got this bike, it was in the beginning of January. It was sent to me and um, I, I don't even know, I don't think I even knew it was coming. <laughs> it just kind of showed up. It, um, it was told to me that there was going to be a release of the deer. It was going to be a special event for Magicycle. And if I could uh, hold off and doing any type of video on it until that time and of course it's middle of, you know early January <laughs> Chicago yeah, I could hold off on everything so I said yeah no problem yeah we're gonna snow and do all sorts of stuff out here <laughs> so I said uh, yeah I'll hold off 
eventually time was getting closer and they asked me to do some type of uh, some type of thing for the deer by the way we're doing uh, 28 miles an hour right now we're on cruise control <laughs> 28.5 28.5 yeah, 28.6 <laughs> on cruise control. So I did an inside uh, thing about the deer. I just kind of introduced the deer and to talk a little bit about my involvement with Magicycle. And um, yeah, it was put on their their uh, their global announcement, my video. It's kind of funny because I was watching that video. Uh, it was actually a live stream, I think, at the time. And then when my video came up, I saw a lot of the comments, Hey, it's Russ! <laughs> yep, it was me. Hey, here's a motorcycle. Hey, he's got neon green too. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't do, uh, I didn't do much after that. Okay, watch, watch this motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, he blew me away, but hey, he's got a motorcycle. Neon green, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> He's probably going, uh, look at this big guy on this green bicycle. <laughs> and then, um, I finally was able to take the deer out and uh, do an actual ride with it. Couldn't go too long because I think it was like 50 degrees or something like that. So I did what I could, put that out. And, and I don't think much else happened after that. Then I said, well, I'm going to have to do the actual review one of these days. I think I did, I did another ride later. And I said, I'm going to have to do the actual review. And I finally did the, other, the real review like a, a little over a month ago. And I haven't touched it since. <laughs> well, look at this. There's uh, construction going on. I'm being stopped over here. Well, we'll stop. Uh, there's a lot of construction going on around here. Have you noticed that? Hi. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> it is. She says it's nice out. <laughs> So we'll wait our turn. They've got uh, flagmen, or women and men, flagging everybody down. So they're gonna let the uh, cross traffic come out first. We'll take our turn after that. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I got time. <laughs> All right, we're good. Thank you, you too. Yeah, I think they're, uh, they're putting seal coat or something on the cracks in between the asphalt. I can see it's kind of like a dark line here and that's what they're spraying down there. Yeah, I definitely don't want to run that over with my tires because I'll be bringing that thing into the house. So we'll, uh, we'll find another way to get around. So, yeah, so the, yeah, the, the, the deer has not had much mileage on it at all. It's kind of shocking. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering, <laughs> since that time, we've had uh, a couple bikes with suspension seat posts, and I even asked Magicycle for a suspension seat post um, to put onto my Magicycle Cruiser. So now that we're back on the deer and we've had our, our rear end on the, <laughs> on the uh, suspension seat post, what's my thought? It's a different feel. <laughs> All right, let me, let me say this. If you want just pure cushiness, if you want to just feel like you're, you're, you're 
your seat is just uh, floating and uh, you hit bumps and you don't feel anything, okay? You probably want the suspension seat post. Now, you're probably surprised I said that, right? <laughs> yeah, you probably want the suspension seat post. However, if you're going over some major bumps, you're doing some off-roading. Um, so you're hitting bump after bump after bump after bump. I would want the full suspension bike. I want the bike protected too. I don't just want my butt protected. I want everything protected. <laughs> and that's what you're going to get with the, uh, with the full suspension bike. Okay, I go on this side. I learned that if I'm going to put something in here, I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm reaching behind me. Okay, I'm going to have to get off the bike. All right. So I have it. I have it sitting over here on the uh, on the rear rack. I learned that if I go behind here and deposit here instead of on the other side of it. Oh, here's the deer. Let's show you guys that. There you go. Uh, I learned that if I go on the other side of it, um, if the if the box is filled with a lot of with a lot of mail. There's less on that side than the side where the cars would go to because, you know, let's say Christmas time, all right? You know how much postage gets put in there? And uh, they only collect once a day, 6, 6 p.m. once a day. So there's a, there's a, it's just stacked in there. So people could reach in and steal all your mail if you wanted to. And so I, uh, I found that if I go on the opposite side, you know, the pile doesn't, uh, doesn't stack up as much in the back end. It's safer for me to put it there. All right, let's get back to this whole suspension business here. So why do I say the suspension seat post for most people? Well, first off, it's cheaper. That's the first obvious thing, all right? You're directly connecting your saddle to the thing that's bouncing. I call it bouncing, I'm not really saying you're bouncing all over, I'm saying that you know, you're picking up the shock, right? But that doesn't help your bike any. If you, if you go over some major bumps, your bike is taking a huge hit and shock. The only thing that's moving around is your butt <laughs> on the saddle. So if you want to protect the bike as well, as your 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 rear end <laughs> uh, the full suspension bike would do that I gotta move over I'm waiting for these cars to kind of move forward there They're leaning into that turn oh I wasn't gonna come down here man I forgot again <laughs> oh well I was gonna go down another way. I was trying to avoid this uh, striping stuff. Well, it is off to the side, it's fine. They're gonna stop me again though. So, um, between, uh, between the two. If the rear suspension is happening, all right, we're, we're gonna have to definitely try to avoid some of this stuff. All right, if the rear suspension is happening, okay, I'm gonna have no choice but to cross over this thing. I hate that. I'm gonna find a dead end here. All right, no choice. <laughs> All right, I'll talk in a second. I gotta pass these guys up. If the rear suspension is happening, the whole back end is, is uh, kind of bouncing around right it's protecting the bike it is okay I, f I feel the, the the up and down movement of the rear with the with the uh, suspension going on now you can adjust that suspension seat post in terms of how how cushy you want that thing to be or how stiff you want it to be you cannot adjust this this is probably it's pretty much predetermined it's a predetermined spring 
still, based on my weight, I can definitely feel the, uh, the rear suspension happening. So between the two, which do I prefer? I think on the long run, um, I prefer the full suspension bike, but I can do perfectly fine with the, with the uh, seat post suspension as well. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it boils down to. I'm okay with it. Now I've made adjustments to the bike uh, before taking it out today. I, uh, I made sure that the front fork was seated well. I think when it was originally sent to me, with all the bouncing around that happens when they ship these things, um, the front fork wasn't as tight as it should, should have been. Now you don't want to over tighten. Um, let, let's take a left here. You don't want to over tighten your front fork because then you can't turn the bike. <laughs> you don't want it too loose or you've got a little play. You know, whenever I've changed out the, the, um, the handlebar stem on a couple of the other bikes, um, I noticed that if I didn't tighten it right, there was some play. I did it to the KBO uh, Ranger, I did it to the Hemiway uh, Zebra, I've done it to the Magicycle commuter bike. I've changed out those, uh, those handlebar stems. And if you don't do it right, there could be play in your, in your, uh, in your front fork. Okay, you can actually, if you hit the brake and you move forward, you can actually feel a loosening effect. Well, that was happening on this uh, the Zebra. And I said, well, <laughs> I didn't change anything out. Why is it uh, loose? So right in the center, I just moved out the, the uh, display. I just kind of moved it forward. Um, took my little hex driver and uh, tightened it up. Yeah. I loosened up the handlebar first, and then I tightened it up. Then I tightened up everything. And so now there's no play. But you kind of think, well, I shouldn't have had any in the first place. The thing is, is that a lot of times you have to put your handlebars on these bikes. It's part of the assembly uh, thing that you have to do. And um, maybe because they have that loosened up so that you have to put your own handlebar on, it just didn't, it didn't, uh, it wasn't tightened up right. It's done right now. <laughs> so I made that adjustment. So there's no play, it's perfectly fine now. I also, um, hold on just one second here. Okay, I also, um, um, I lose my train of thought here all the time. This is the problem when you're getting older. I keep saying that. <laughs> I put the rear rack on, okay. Um, and I also put uh, the fenders on. It didn't have fenders on it. Um, they gave us the fenders, but it wasn't, it wasn't installed um, in the front. Um, the rear fender was installed and uh, so I had to put that on all right we're at the hill test here let's go full blast over the hill <laughs> okay that could be a little dangerous I mean we know that this thing could do 28 miles an hour all right we got somebody here so we can't go too too hard we'll wait till we pass her first all right Full blast going over the hill, pedaling as well. I didn't get full blast because the lady was there, but let's see where our numbers are. Uh, 15.1. <laughs> 15.1. I think the uh, Ocelot Pro was the one that did the hill test the best with throttle only from a dead stop at that bridge and then throttle only 12.3 so this bike if we do um, if we do the uh, throttle plus pedaling 15.1 
for a heavy bike. Yeah, this is like 93 pounds, I think they said. Plus a heavy person. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm no lightweight person, that's for sure. So yeah, the deer does well. It, it has no problems. Um, it's got cruise control. On it, some people like that, some people don't. I like the cruise control. <laughs> you can set up different uh, levels of um, of your uh, assist levels. I have um, nine. I think I have nine set on this one. Let me see. Let me just pop it through. Yeah, I set mine up for nine. Um, the only reason I go that high is, is if I'm pedaling, I don't want to go really fast. Sometimes I want the lower numbers to have some ability to give me a assist but not real fast so I have those lower numbers set lower like I just kick myself from three to four and I can feel the, the jump at four but one two and three is relatively low so I can go slower if I wanted to yeah if you want to learn how to do those advanced settings uh, I do have a video about that I'll put a link in the description so you can access that. People have uh, gone to that video to learn how to do the uh, the adjustments. Now, somebody did tell me that uh, there was some change to, uh, I don't know if it was to the deer or the ocelot or whoever, or whatever, um, where they added an extra feature where you can turn off the cruise control. I don't know whether all of the bikes going forward have that now or not. But if it does, that's just one extra piece that's not in that video okay now I know a number of you guys have said you know they should give us a software update I don't think it's just a software update I think it's something they have to actually change out the display screen or controller or something like that we can't make that change so um, so we can't uh, really do that all right I got a call coming in hold on for just a second not really sure who that was <laughs> The thing is, is that if the if the phone number comes in, um, and and I hear the call, um, that means I I should be accepting that call because I I set up my phone that that um, it rejects all phone calls except for ones that I know of, and so I'm kind of surprised it went through. I'm deciding which way I need to go here. This one's kind of standing in between, either going left or going right. All right, <laughs> we're turning. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm, I'm in the right direction here. I was kind of in between, uh, in between the light thing here. All right, let's just get through here and then we'll talk a little bit more. Yeah, if that phone goes through, that means I either have put them on as something to accept or or somebody I know but I don't know who that is because I don't have a name on it I just have a phone number to it so eh, oh well whatever they'll call back <laughs> or they'll leave a message all right now you might notice sometimes I'll be talking about something and then I, I either lose my train of thought or something gets my attention then I forget to finish my thoughts on something so this is this is my basic issue I've had since getting older is I don't remember <laughs> half the time the short-term stuff I just don't know what's happening you guys like that yet <laughs> that's how I'm getting there so uh, oh well so you have to just forgive me sometimes I talk about something and then get distracted and then I forget what I said okay so back to our bikes here so I've taken the shortcut through the path here I, I still don't know whether they finished the uh, the long route uh, they had construction on the road of course to, to do stuff and I um, I haven't gone there and checked it I figured I'd just take the shortcut and get out of here they really should restripe this too. You can see it's very faint, the striping. 
Uh, they restriped that other area, but they didn't do this. I, I, it makes me wonder sometimes, you know. <laughs> they forget about certain areas and then it remains forgotten. All right, so for my cell phone holder here, I did not put a uh, extension tube bar on this handlebar yet. I, I think I might eventually um, because to put my cell phone uh, mount, it kind of covers over my display screen. And so I uh, can't really see the display screen very well. But you know, the, the handlebar kind of curves down, you know, kind of curves down here. And so there's not a whole lot of space that you can just mount things on. You can see even on my my external. Um, well, let this guy go through here. There he goes. It's okay. Um, my external headlight. It's kind of on an angle as well. It's just the way it is. All right. Now last time I was here, trying to cross over here, uh, I was moving forward, and then uh, there's we have a. Let me show you here. We have a very limited view line right here because there's trees. I couldn't see there was a car coming. As I'm moving forward, I saw the car and I slammed on the brakes. <laughs> yeah, this is this is an accident waiting to happen, whether it's gonna happen to me or somebody else. I've said that many times, okay? <laughs> Ladies letting me through, thank you very much. Yeah, if the people slow down and let you through like this lady did, that's very helpful. If, if they don't slow down, and let you through sometimes you could be standing there for a long time and but you got to make sure both sides are clear so even though she stopped you got to make sure the other side stops too and there was no car so we were we were lucky yeah somebody asked me recently uh, about uh, mirrors versus bells okay um, which one would I prefer to have? Um, because it, I guess there's some limited spacing here. So here's what I did. Um, I moved the uh, pedal assist controller, which is usually right next to the handlebar um, grip. I moved it further in. Okay, well, okay, here's what it does. You've got the handlebar grip, then you got the, the, the section here is for the brakes. Then the, uh, the pedal assist level is usually next to it. I moved that pedal assist lever inwards so that I could put the uh, put the mirror on here. So this thing's actually fitting in further in and then I put a thin bell here. If you got one of these bells, um, it doesn't take a lot of space, okay? So uh, yeah, I you know between the two, which would I prefer to give up? I, I can't give up either one, I need both. <laughs> I want my side view mirror and I want a bell to be able to let people know I'm coming. So I just move things in. I think the choice of the bell, um, uh, actually in this case makes sense because it, you know it's very thin. I mean, we're talking, what is that? Three quarters of an inch wide, something like that. If you had some of the other bells that usually come on bikes, they're really kind of big. And, and then so then you, you have less less space to put things in so, oh we got a deer a deer meeting a deer look to the left you see the little deer there's a little guy all right he's gonna stop here <laughs> I learned that you should do that yeah one of our subscribers says that uh, the, the deers will stop if you do that <laughs> yeah this one's getting going this is a baby one yeah, he's gonna be like the deer mini okay we'll just stay here we'll just watch a little bit yeah, it's eating. I don't want to scare it off, but I want to get a little closer. Let me see if I can. See, it's stopping and looking at us. Yeah, it's like a baby deer. What do they call that? A fawn? Somebody said too that if you know if you have the deer mini, it should be called Bambi <laughs> or a fawn, not deer mini. Yeah, this one's a small one. Cool. First deer of the season for us to see. There you go. Let's move up a little bit. You guys see her? There, there she is, nice. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right, that made my day. 
Yeah, back out on the deer, get to see a deer. Deer meets deer. <laughs> yeah, we do have deer out here. Uh, I've always wondered what the deer do during the winter. I mean, it could get really cold out here, but I guess that's how it is if you're an animal, right? Yeah, they hide in the uh, in the um, the brush here, I guess. And you know, out here they will burn it all down. All the stuff here they'll burn down to a point, and they leave some. But you know, the animals use it as shelter to kind of hide from everything. But um, if you burn it all down, I always wondered, what about the little animals that don't make it out? They get burned up. Yeah, little. Uh, what do they call those things? Little gerbils or something? I don't know. Chipmunks, sorry. <laughs> you got little chipmunks. I don't think they make it out. Some of them don't make it. What if you got little turtles, little snakes? They don't make it out. They don't gather them all. Yeah. These are the things I think about. <laughs> I don't know if anyone ever thinks about stuff like that, but I do. All right, here's, here's what I'm gonna do to end this video for you guys. Now, the other day, I was, uh, I was out riding. I was waiting for a FedEx package, never showed up. Eventually it showed up. You know I mean? So, uh, so I went out there and then I ran into one of our uh, subscribers, yeah. He, he yelled out my name and uh, yeah, I had to stop. And uh, that's what I always tell you guys to do. You know, if you yell my name out, I know you're uh, Russ's right viewer because how would you know my name <laughs> otherwise, right? So I'm gonna let that uh, footage run. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's roughly 10 minutes long, something like that. Uh, we we talked for almost an hour. Uh, I can't show all of it, obviously. So, uh, and eventually my, my GoPro battery eventually died anyway, so. I'm gonna let this uh, video finish off with uh, with me running into him. I was on the Magic Cycle Cruiser at the time, and then you can hear a little bit from him, and then uh, then we'll close it out at that point. But yeah, I appreciate you guys following along today and uh, being out here with my uh, ride on the deer. And uh, yeah, continue watching. Watch the uh, the little clip that we have between the two of us talking, and then uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. How you doing? That would be me. <laughs> I kind of figured you did if you know my name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let me move over here for a second. <laughs> What's your name? I could run in. I'm Clark, by the way. Clark? Yeah. Oh, how you doing? Pleased to meet you. Yeah, I'm the old guy. Oh, I'll be we'll 78 this... in a month, so. Oh, you're a little older than me. I am. So now you get the official Russ's Right Business card. Oh, how about <laughs> that, huh? Yeah, I was talking about the white tire and this part of the, well, you never tested this one, but I like the inventions because they sell in the bike shops. Yeah. I got this in, uh, I live in Streamland. I got this in Geneva, so. Let's okay. move over. Let's let these yeah. people through here just in case. Let's move over here. Something yesterday you were, I didn't watch the whole thing. You were, uh, got new bikes in or something. <laughs> <laughs> there are new bikes. It's a small world. Yeah, you want to be on YouTube? Because you're running right now. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Okay. Yeah. So you got me into this. Last year I was strictly a bike in those hills and... I ride the Fox River a lot. And okay. I know you were there with your wife. So yeah. Ended up in South Elgin on that. I think she went down that tight S curve there. Yeah, yeah. That thing is uh, that's a huge turnaround, yeah, it's and it's turn. very, very, very tight. It is. So yeah. she wasn't as versed in in turning. Yeah. So she no, went these down. These things are. Uh, yours is a little heavier than mine. This yeah. This is the the cruiser, Magic Cycle Cruiser. Which one is it, Magic Cycle? Yeah. yeah. So I. Um, you got me in the e-bikes. <laughs> the hills did too. Yeah. Well, the venting is actually very good. Um, yeah, I, I it's like a number of people so buy them. I like it that they sell in the bike shops too. I haven't put it together. But.
the, it's actually the, one of the benefits is that you know you have a local store that you can get it at. Yeah. You know, the, the Pedigo that I just recently got, same thing. They yeah. they actually made me go to get it from there. So. <laughs> so how's your uh, knee going? <laughs> Knee's okay. This that's what it looks like. Yeah, I had it 21 years ago. <laughs> Every place up here. This is going out fast. Another reason why I followed you getting to get an e bike, you know. I think in time my knees, my hips are, my hips hurt just as bad as the knees at this point. Do they? Yeah. yeah. So I can't, I can't, uh, I can't walk long distances. Yeah, I know. can't, especially with this right. Yeah. I worked 30 years for the Cook County Forest Preserve District, so and drove a Zamboni after this. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, I've been retired 21 years. So okay. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, well, it's just a couple years for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember you said uh, following your blog, you're in law enforcement, so yeah. that'd be a good career, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a sweet looking bike, though. Yeah, yeah, let's show the people what it looks like here. <laughs> looks similar. Yep, I'll show them your bike here. Which model is this one? This is a level two. A level two, okay. 2.1 inch tires. Uh, Very nice. Torque sensor, I like the torque sensor a little better, but. Yeah, one, one of the bikes. One of the bikes I got, torque sensor didn't do too well for me. No, I saw that. <laughs> but the other bike did. Um, Hit your blocks. Yeah, the other bike did okay. Oh, this one right there. <laughs> more and more e-bikes out there. But, yeah, there uh, are, so. Yeah, and then one of the new bikes has a torque sensor as well. Yeah, you yeah. didn't because of your knee. I know you didn't. Yeah, but there's I another like one that came in that, that has a torque sensor now. I think torque sensor is the new um, thing this year that they're all trying to put on there. Last year it was all about uh, getting hydraulic brakes on them. Yeah. So now this year I think the big buzzword is we got to put a torque sensor in our bikes, you know. Still so. can't believe I ran into you. I was thinking <laughs> about that. I've seen, I know this trail from watching your videos. Yeah, yeah. If you're a local guy, uh, you can pretty much figure out where, where I normally ride. Yeah, I, so. uh, I get everywhere. So. <laughs> I haven't been down, well, some of this wasn't here. This almost goes to 53. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, I was uh, I was waiting for a FedEx package all day. Still hasn't shown up yet. I said, forget it. I'm not going to sit here any longer. And it's for a package that I don't even know what it is that's coming in. It's only eight pounds. I, I just, it's not a bike. It doesn't need a signature, but I figured I'd be there. And I figured I got to get out. So. I see you got the same thing i got the suspension oh yeah the seat I, post i love it do you have the sun tour things do you have the sun tour one yeah yeah well it started yeah, out I, from your testing i yeah started out with got, uh i've got a lot of good tips from your testing kudos to you so. yeah well thank you yeah when those uh two bikes came in with suspension seat posts that's when i asked magicycle can you send me one so yeah. i can try it on this bike because if uh, i says i know how it feels like on that bike but people want to know how is it on the other bikes so they sent it to me, and initially I had problems with the uh, the, the thing holding because it's got a sleeve, because mm -hmm. it's a it's a smaller tube. Uh, but I cranked it down, and yeah, you know, we're fine now. So I just had it uh, I had it lighter than I normally probably should have, and I usually don't overdo it. But with that, you have to because you're bouncing all over the place. So you ever had a flat on the rear tire yet? It's no, I, I have changed the tires though. Um, yeah. I had um, uh, on my Rad Rover, I had worn it out so much that I actually had to do a swap out of front to the back and then I finally had to change the tires out altogether. So I have done the changes, yeah. But I've not had a flat per se. I had a blowout on the very first couple days that I had the bike. Uh, and that was from, no, it, wasn't, it had nothing to do with riding it. What happened is I put some slime on the inside yeah. And I guess the, the tires were sitting down, so what happened is the tubes got pinched. So when you pump them up, it just exploded it. I've done a lot of research, just, and I can't think of the name of it. There's another that this guy tested all these. Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be... Uh, tough, I can't remember. Yeah, that would be the uh, okay. flat out. Flat out. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking about putting that in my rear tire. Yeah. So I'm taking this up to Michigan, but their laws are pretty strict. You can't... I hardly use a throttle except you you always start on busy streets. Mm -hmm. Makes it's a game changer. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I hardly use it because I wanna You're like uh, Mrs. Get Wright. The exercise, you know. <laughs> Mrs. Wright always pedals all the way through. Yeah, I know. She <laughs> she, she she puts us all to shame. I mean she's just like she, non stop pedal. Yeah, I, so I keep it I have five levels, I keep it one unless I get the hill. 
I was wondering what hill you tested on. That's got to be way. Oh yeah, it's fur, further down. Yeah, uh, once you pass it. Fire in there. They had a fire out there. Yeah, I saw the the trucks were were yeah. uh, moving. Yeah. Go over the hoses. <laughs> But yeah, the hill test is is kind of tough. Um, yeah, I didn't think that hill was that steep, but it's it's I yeah. Said, He's got to try more Fox <laughs> Rivers trails. I don't know if you've gone to uh, cross the double bridge south of where your wife fell. No, I think I think uh, we'll that probably hill try it again. Eight percent good testing here. Eight percent. Uh, wow. A third of a mile, eight percent grade. Mm. I mean, this thing will make. Look at the size. What size? That's a huge. <laughs> it's a monstrous battery. Yeah, that's that's 20 amp hours on, on there. <laughs> the original battery is four, is 15 amp hours, but uh, this is what comes on the Cruiser Pro. So they sent me the the larger battery so I could uh, go further. Yeah. So I call it my wannabe Pro because it's, it's got the hydraulic brakes in there now and it's got the new battery in there. Okay. But the new Pro versions have better motors than this one. Okay. So it has better torque. So that one would do better than than this one would do. So the top one that goes over the hill is the Oslap Pro, is it? Uh, which is the 20-inch fat tire bike. It goes over that hill a lot better than this because it has that better motor yeah. on there. Yeah. And then I just announced on the most recent one, the they have the Deer Mini coming out. Do they? Yeah. Oh, that's a, yeah. You haven't gotten that one. No, yet. it's still on the boat. Yeah, it's I'll coming. I'll be looking forward to your test on that. <laughs> I was just saying that, uh, you know, the deer, people have asked me, how come you're not taking the deer out? I says, well, I took it out earlier. I'm trying to get all the bike's batteries, uh, give it some riding time. Okay. So, and because they, they give me double batteries now, a lot of them, um, oh, that makes it that? tougher. <laughs> yeah, I just asked them for it. Nice. Yeah, that, yeah, that is the one benefit of, of doing these YouTube videos. But uh, yeah, every manufacturer now, I've just been telling them, look, you know, you don't have to give it to me, but if they give it to me, I can go further. And which means I can ride their bike more often yeah. and that that's more exposure for them anyway so they you know for for the cost of the battery it's it's worth it for them you know people have always said that you know you, you get all these free bikes they go well you know that's exchange that's basically exchange for the work you do on YouTube yeah is it's, it's their advertising yeah I, know. I, yeah I take videos in that I have my old ones on YouTube but uh, I want to do I fly a little drone too mm -hmm. so I got I got it takes I'm not gonna go through. It takes a lot of time. It I does. Appreciate your work. <laughs> I just use uh, Apple iMovie to do it. You're mm -hmm. probably using something more. Uh, I'm using Final Cut Pro, which yeah. is essentially like iMovie, just yeah, a little more advanced version advanced. of it. Yeah, I, yeah. For me, I don't need it. You do with your 